I recently had the pleasure of organizing a playthrough for the Haryu mod to play a couple of games and introduce it to our players. The map is a set in Finland and is in the same universe as the official Narva map. Squad absolutely has vegetation, but nothing on this scale. And it was a real joy to get used to using our camouflage to basically hide from enemies. Quick thank you to Wonder who joined us and talked us through his development process. To date he's spent around 800 hours developing this map and he was really influenced by games such as Armour and DayZ. I experienced personally some heavy flashbacks to maps like Shoreland and Woods if you also play Tarkov. I will be commentating in this video to make sure that you're up to speed with what's going on on the screen and also talk you through some tips and some decisions that I made throughout the round. We're playing as Russians invading Haryu against the Americans. The first flag is on the beach. Right now, I'm going to stop the music and throw you into the game. Thank you, DJ. Check up with the BMW. Keep moving, we got the mowers out of the round starts off pretty dramatically, our BMP goes down and there's reports of an enemy Bradley, so I'm going to run around and try and find it. Yeah, I'll try mate. No. Uh, machine gun is... Bradley on the west. Thank you. Queen's gonna bring two logi trucks up front. Medic, medic, medic. Contact. Oh, thank you. Moving west. We have infantry north of us somewhere. Yeah, careful. Looks are gonna have to reset it. Thanks, medic. Someone find that Markman, he's north, in the red house. Red house. Cover me if you guys can, I'm resetting it. He's definitely in one of these houses. I can't see him. He might be in this north house. Fuck me. Got him, got him. Ooh. Nice. Going back towards the lodges, we need to start moving. Cheers, mate. Behind you. So, moving off the beach, we're gonna try and set up a new hub somewhere north of the second flag. 
we're going to get Green to drop us off and establish something. This creates a different angle for an attack and serves as a backup hab if our main one goes down. Mm. There's so many trees. I had suspicions that the helicopter might attract unnecessary attention. We actually see an American running off into the distance. So as we start pushing to the flag, I see an MRAP and encounter multiple soldiers overrunning our fob. So the enemy knows where the fob is. I stay around to try and defend it while the rest of the squad pushes up to the flag. SU-25 heads up push. If you're out of rockets or you don't have a light on your team, you can disable an MRAPS engine by shooting under the nice. wheel covers. If you shoot the tire first, sink about 20 rounds into there to make sure it's deflated, and then shoot the, the engine through the side, you'll be able to blow the engine. Not only does that mean the MRAP isn't able to move, but you can also finish off any crewmen that are hiding inside. I might observe my up floor window is a engine. That's okay. Nice, good job. Here it is. Now. Has that fob disappeared up to Pretty straightforward second flag, uh, I basically just try and stay on the objectives so that we can cap it. Shortly afterwards I just get some ammo and start pushing third flag, which is in a car park. Anyone got any ammo? Yeah, we got 47 in it. Take what you need. I'll resupply it as soon as I can. Start doing this down, please. We're not going to be able to get radio if it's up. Good for a That Bradley's coming. Yeah. Guys, okay, back up, Bradley.
I'm still pretty salty about the first Bradley I didn't manage to kill on the beach, so this time I respawn, rearm my rockets, and try again. Stop moving on cap. You go around. A lot of places they can hide in. I'm in their hab now. Up. Beautiful. Yeah, that's good. That's good. No more. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oops. RT. Let's hope they don't build another one. When we got to the third cap, I found that there was an MRAP and a striker. Enemy fob marker is accurate north. They're trying to build it now. If you guys can uh, swarm it. I'm dead. Before we move out next objective, let's make sure we we are our own place. No. Radio Apologies, my friend just decided to die when I hit the striker, but we eventually managed to destroy it. I hear a heli heading northeast. That might be where the point is. So at this stage, decided to go for a nice walk in the woods and just appreciate the map. Oh, this is a great map, loving it. Pain in the ass to drive on though. Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna Do you know what I think I was right? We were just too early. That's really upsetting me now. Pretty much yes. After the car park um, we actually start pushing to the very last flag, which is in the heart of the woods. So lots of green here, you'll really see the value of the camouflage come out. We actually get ambushed in the way yeah. by a striker. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But, um... Try and remember your team's gun sounds and enemies' gun sounds. Also try and identify the fire rate of each gun because it would really help you on your approach. If you hear an MG, don't just go running out into the open. My ABQ be but Chris, I wanna be a infantry north of the river heading towards the hat. Slowing down in these situations is an absolute godsend. So staying still, knowing where the kind of choke points are and any like popular places to cross around the flag are really effective because if you can make the enemy come to you, you'll just absolutely clean up and you'll really do some serious damage to enemy squads. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> I had three people in front of me running around and I was on pro and I got hit Machine gun. and I the bushes <laughs> Yeah that was really unlucky Thank you Thank you I hit a track gun
Oh, I'm really so high up. Guys, remember, don't push through the portal. Oh, I've got one. Maybe two. Not more than ever. It's still here. So in terms of closing thoughts, Hayu is a really, really well put together map, but I don't think this video actually does it any justice in terms of how much scale there is. A map that provides something that diverse, so beach landings to uh, kind of fighting in cities like Nava to woods, there's so many like points of interest. Every area looks quite unique and really well thought out and it has an identity. After the game, we just jumped into lodges and helicopters and explored the map. We have a, a 10 minute it's stop. Right, so on. Make sure you get nice screenshots. There are toilets at the warehouse, so use the toilet. Yeah, yeah. White one ice cream. Probably there. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't get ice cream here. Which proved a bit more stressful than a normal squad game. Shut up. This is bringing back more Daisy vibes, I swear to God. The hangers with the. Yeah, this is very daisy. Hey, Charlie, Michael, that's like a Dunder Mifflin. Guys, the translation on the window means I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hi, you is available in the Steam Workshop and ready for download, so if you own a server or are part of a community, it's very easy to access. I've also spotted some servers doing 24-7 playthroughs of this, a bit similar to what the Fallujah playtesting is doing at the moment. The gameplay is really, really good, and it's a breath of fresh air. Check out my other stuff if you're interested, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers! Uh. Uh, hey yo, I'm new millennium hyping Like poppin' pills since I've been introduced to the tab Your girl got gas like she was down the trot in Y'all niggas ain't got no confidence